Charles Darwin transformed the way that we understand the natural world. Today, many of his important specimens are housed here at the Natural History Museum and at our site in Tring. But who looks after them? And what are the stories behind these treasures from the past? We're heading to Tring to meet one of the best known species from Darwin's work. And if you're a Londoner, this might not be quite what you're expecting. Hello, Hein. Hello. You have brought some very exciting specimens for us to look at today. Tell us what we have here. Yes, they're, they're pigeons. Now, these are not any bit. These are Darwin's pigeons. <laughs> and um, everybody is full about Darwin's finches and evolution. But Darwin didn't look at the finches. Darwin looked at the pigeons. The pigeons gave him all the ideas about evolution and how it worked. So how long have they been in the collection? He donated them to the museum in 1867. Many of those I collected far before 1867. Pretty old specimens, some of them are probably about 200 years old. Wow, that is incredible. They look in yeah. incredible condition. Well, not too bad. You're doing much. a really yeah, good yeah, job. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I try to, yeah. 